Determining whether someone is good or evil can be a complex and multifaceted challenge, especially since these concepts can be subjective and significantly vary across different cultural, moral, and individual perspectives. However, Stoicism, a philosophy advocating for control over emotions and a life led by reason and efficiency, offers some guidelines that can aid in this assessment. Those who stand loyal followers and are avoided in a crowd reveal their true colors in quiet interactions, unspoken gestures, and the invisible ties that bind or separate people. Kindness, like sunlight, has the ability to illuminate and warm those around it, attracting like a magnet those who seek warmth and light. On the other hand, evil, even when trying to disguise itself under the guise of kindness or virtue, eventually reveals its true face as a mask that crumbles. Falseness cannot sustain indefinitely, one can pretend to be good for a while, but the mask of deceit eventually wears off, revealing what lies behind. There are certain traits that indicate whether a person is more inclined toward evil than good. Observing these behaviors makes it easier to understand the dynamics between people and also guides one's own conduct to be an even better person. In this video, we will unveil subtle signs that help us discern people's true character. We'll talk about 9 behaviors that expose evil, so watch until the end, as the last behavior is the most intriguing. Remember, knowing the problem makes it easier to make life decisions and seek intelligent solutions for your challenges. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you to focus on the content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Signal number 1, Individuals Who Do Not Repent Consider someone who, even when faced with clear evidence showing they are wrong, stubbornly clings to their position, building walls of justifications and rationalizations instead of bridges of understanding and reconciliation. The inability to repent, to recognize and learn from mistakes, is a sign of something deeper and potentially dangerous hidden beneath the surface. This obstinacy can manifest in various ways, including refusing to apologize, a tendency to distort facts to fit their narrative, or the ability to turn the tables, making others feel guilty or responsible. In contrast, true kindness is flexible and humble, recognizing that we are all fallible and that mistakes are opportunities for growth. A genuinely good person understands that apologizing and admitting mistakes is not a weakness but a demonstration of strength and maturity. Therefore, when assessing someone's character, it is crucial to observe how that person deals with their own mistakes. A persistent refusal to repent, even when clearly wrong, is a red flag indicating that apparent kindness may be nothing more than a facade skillfully worn. Signal number two, individuals who enjoy seeing others suffer. A person who finds satisfaction in others' suffering may hide behind the facade of a gentle and compassionate personality. However, their actions and reactions betray this facade, revealing a profound emotional disconnect and lack of empathy. Instead of offering support or comfort in times of pain, this person may demonstrate indifference or, worse, a subtle smile or hidden satisfaction at others' adversity. Such behavior is deeply disturbing and reveals a potentially manipulative and malicious personality. This trait can manifest in subtle ways, such as malicious comments disguised as humor or reluctance to offer help when needed, or it can be more evident in situations where the person benefits from others' adversities or deliberately ignores others' suffering. Signal number three, inconsistent individuals. This behavior is characterized by a lack of steadfastness in their beliefs and a constant pattern of changing opinions and promises. Their words, though they may seem sincere at the moment, quickly lose value as they are adjusted to align with what is most advantageous for them in a given situation. This type of person may agree with you one day but completely change their stance the next if they perceive that another option may benefit them more. This constant shifting of opinion and lack of fidelity to their own words reveals deep egocentrism and a predisposition to manipulate situations for their own benefit. Essentially, these people treat relationships and commitments as transactions where loyalty and honesty are sacrificed for personal gains. The inconsistency of these individuals makes them unreliable sources of support and trust. They may appear supportive and understanding, but this facade is fleeting and changes rapidly according to their own needs and interests. 
This pattern of behavior not only harms relationships but also generates distrust and uncertainty among those around them. Signal number four, constantly complaining individuals. This perpetual attitude of discontent manifests in a series of complaints. They find faults in everything and everyone, focusing excessively on the negative aspects of life without recognizing or valuing the good things. This pessimistic view can extend to daily annoyances, personal relationships, and even global events. Instead of seeking solutions or adopting a more balanced approach, they prefer to dive into a spiral of negativity. This constant dissatisfaction reveals a deep insatiability. Join our stoicist journey at Buy Me A Coffee. Support with a donation or as a member and have a voice in our community. Every coffee fuels our mission to share wisdom. Be our pillar, make a difference today. Where nothing is enough, and they always want more. This attitude not only creates a toxic environment for themselves and those around them but also masks a lack of gratitude and the inability to appreciate life in its fullness. This behavior often hides an egocentric and ungrateful personality that rarely finds genuine joy or satisfaction in achievements or the well-being of others. Moreover, this constant pursuit of more and the inability to be satisfied can lead to manipulation and exploitative conduct. These individuals may use their complaints as a tool to gain attention, sympathy, or resources from others, though they rarely contribute positively or constructively to the collective well-being. Signal number five, controlling individuals. This need for control manifests in various ways. First, these individuals may present themselves as leaders or advisors, offering guidance or assistance. However, their good intentions often have an underlying aim to shape circumstances and people's actions to suit their own interests or vision of what is right. Moreover, these people may adopt authoritarian behavior, imposing their opinions and decisions, suggesting they believe they are above others, often disrespecting the opinions, feelings, and needs of others. They can be inflexible and insensitive, insisting others follow their directives without question. Another aspect of their controlling nature is manipulation. They may use tactics such as guilt, subtle persuasion, or even emotional blackmail to influence others' decisions and actions, often without the individuals realizing they are being controlled. This desire for control can also lead to invasion of privacy and disrespect for personal boundaries. These individuals may interfere in matters not concerning them, justifying their actions as concern or care, but in reality, they seek to maintain influence over others. Signal number six, individuals who show indifference. These people, often mistaken for being kind and attentive, demonstrate a worrying lack of empathy and interest in others. Indifference manifests in various subtle yet significant ways. Firstly, these individuals tend to monopolize conversations, focusing primarily on their own interests, experiences, and problems, dominating the dialogue in such a way that little room is left for others to express their opinions or share their stories. Furthermore, when others speak, these people often show blatant disinterest, appearing distracted, inattentive, or quick to change the subject to something that interests them more. This lack of attention to the needs and feelings of others is not just a matter of rudeness but a clear demonstration of indifference and lack of empathy. Another characteristic of indifference is the inability or reluctance to recognize and validate the emotions of others, even when confronted with their suffering or joy. These individuals may react with cold disinterest, unable to emotionally connect or offer genuine support. This indifference also extends to situations where empathy would be the natural and expected response in moments of crisis or difficulty faced by friends, family, or colleagues. People can be surprisingly detached, offering little or no support, comfort, or assistance. Signal number seven, lying individuals. These individuals use lying as a tool to manipulate situations and people for their own benefit. They may alter facts, exaggerate, or even invent stories to present themselves in a more favorable light or to gain sympathy and attention. This manipulation can be so subtle that initially, it's difficult to distinguish reality from fiction. Another concerning aspect of this tendency to lie is the willingness to use falsehoods to belittle or discredit others. 
They may spread unfounded rumors, distort someone's words or actions to harm them, or create conflicts among people. This behavior not only generates distrust and misunderstandings but can also cause real harm to the reputation and relationships of those involved. Furthermore, frequent lying by these individuals is a sign that they do not value honesty and transparency in relationships, being willing to sacrifice the truth to achieve their goals without considering the impact of their actions on others. This reveals deep egocentrism and lack of empathy. The ability of these individuals to lie convincingly without remorse also indicates a lack of moral and ethical principles. They may justify their lies as necessary or harmless, but in reality, these patterns of deception erode trust and the integrity of human relations. Signal number 8, Individuals with Emotional Coldness People with this trait tend to be detached and distant, showing little or no interest in the affairs or emotions of others. This emotional coldness is often accompanied by a form of selfishness. Such individuals are more concerned with their own interests and needs than those of the people around them. They can be insensitive or indifferent to the difficulties or suffering of others, focusing only on what is beneficial or convenient for themselves. This attitude can manifest in various ways, such as minimizing or ignoring the problems of others and expressing little or no support or solidarity. Additionally, emotional coldness can also be a conscious or unconscious tactic to maintain control or domination in a relationship, remaining emotionally distant and avoiding genuinely engaging or committing to others, maintaining a position of superiority or power. However, it is important to note that emotional coldness itself is not always indicative of evil. In some cases, it may stem from past experiences, psychological defenses, or even mental health-related issues. Therefore, it is essential to evaluate this behavior within a broader context, observing other characteristics and behavior patterns of the person in question. Signal number 9, Individuals Who Criticize Others This trait often comes disguised under the guise of observation or honest opinion, but in reality, it can be a strategy for self-promotion at the expense of others. By belittling people, paradoxically, they attempt to elevate their own image or status. They may use criticism or contempt as tools to position themselves as superior or more knowledgeable. A particularly insidious aspect of this trait is the propensity to speak ill of others behind their backs, demonstrating not only a lack of integrity and loyalty but also suggesting manipulative behavior. If a person is quick to speak negatively about someone in their absence, it's likely they do the same with others, including you. Furthermore, this behavior can indicate insecurity or low self-esteem. Instead of building their identity or self-image positively, these individuals choose to stand out by diminishing others. This is a damaging pattern of behavior, not only for the targets of their words but also for the individuals themselves as it creates a cycle of negativity and distrust around them. In summary, speaking ill of others is a red flag when assessing a person's character, indicating a tendency toward manipulation, negativity, and a lack of respect for others. It's important to be mindful of these behaviors, as they reveal much about a person's true nature, which may be hidden behind a facade of kindness or positivity. Remember, however, that all traits are complex and multifaceted. An evaluation based solely on a few interactions or observations may not capture the full breadth of a person's character. Additionally, Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on what we can control, our actions and judgments, and to be cautious in judging others, recognizing that each person has their own journey and challenges. I hope you enjoyed the video, and since you've made it to the end, please share your thoughts with us and write, Stoic Bond, in the comments. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe.